Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel and happy Friday, everybody. We know I love Fridays because Fridays means the weekend is soon approaching and I have my two days off, which go just like that, just super fast. But anyways, I am here today to do a book review. So I know some of you have watched my videos all the time and you know that I was reading three books at one time and I am not going to do that anymore. I usually read a book that I take to work and that's the book I read at work and then I have a book that I read at home and then I had picked up a third book that I was reading for book club. Got too overwhelming. I finished the book that I was reading at work and I am now working on the other book that I normally read just at home and I'm taking it to work as well. I'm gonna finish that book, then finish the book for book club, because then we have another book club book that has come up that we are going to um, we are going to read for October 31st. So for our book club meeting. Anyways, today the book I read was I Almost Forgot About You by Terry McMillan. This is sweet Terry right here. I have read many of Terry's books. Um, we had author night today at our library, which means that an author that has written books comes to our library and talks about his books or her books, and then you can uh, buy one of his books. So we had that tonight. It was my first time ever to go to an author's night. I have been to book club, but I've never been to author's night. I wasn't super impressed with this one, but it's just not my style of writing is why. He was semi-interesting to me. Excuse me. He was um, he was just okay to listen to. I wasn't thoroughly impressed, but um, I would love to have Terry. <laughs> but Terry only lives three hours away from, from us. She lives in Oakland, California. Um, the author that we had today lives down by... Um, Santa Barbara. So he actually traveled further to come to us. However, he's from our town. He graduated from uh, Calusa. So he's used to that. He knows that it's a small town. And uh, so, so he wanted to come here. But anyways, I would give anything to go to an author's night for Terry because I think she would be awesome to listen to. So this book, I Almost Forgot About You, was a woman in her late 50s. Actually, she was based upon um, the same age as me, but this book was written like 10 years ago, so she would be 68. Now, it, it's not a true story. It, she just made up this. She has this story. But anyways, this woman is an optometrist, a black woman in... Oakland that has a practice with another optometrist in Oakland and she's 58 and she's getting ready to go to her 40 year class reunion and she just is kind of having like a midlife crisis. She's been married twice and divorced twice. Her whole life sounds like mine. Um, and she's just thinking, why, why did I break up with this guy or why did this guy and I break up? And so her goal is to go. She's got six different men that she wants to um, get in contact with and see why did our relationship end? And that included her two ex-husbands and four other boyfriends that she had that were, she felt significant to want to know why they broke up. So that's what this book is based upon. And the, um, and she has, her name is Georgia, and she has two daughters, one from the first husband, one from the second husband, kind of like me with my sons. So, um, and uh, she has been single for quite a while, and she's got her good friends in Oakland by her, and they've grown up together, and uh, she goes to her class reunion. She completely forgets about this guy, Stanley, that she dated right out of high school or in high school. I can't remember. And he was a white guy and she always dated black guys and she dated this white guy. And she completely forgot about him to put him on the list to look up to. And anyways, he shows up at um, the class reunion or 
it might have been her birthday. Shoot, now I'm getting confused. But anyways, he shows up. They connect together. And I don't want to be a complete spoiler of the book, but uh, she decides she's going to sell her practice and she is going to just restore furniture because it's as a hobby. And she is going to travel around and just do whatever she wants to do. And she's going to take this train from Oak, no, from San Francisco to Toronto and, um, and just to ride the train and relax. And, um, if you ever know, if you've ever read Terry McMillan books, they usually make you laugh. She's a little bit raunchy. She talks a little bit about sex in there. She does use some vulgar language, but for the most part, she's just funny for the most part. So I found this book not completely 100% up to her par of her other books. There were parts of it that were funny. Um, I've only read one other book of hers this year, but I've read her books for years. Um, but I was thinking, I'm going to give this book a three out of five because it's just not her normal book. It's just not holding up, you know? It's kind of boring in spots. It's kind of, uh, it just kind of carries on and on and on. And so I, it, it was okay, but it just wasn't great. Well, then we get to, I want to say the last 50 pages and it just put a smile on my face. The whole thing just put a smile on my face. She went on the train ride. She didn't get a private room on the train because she thought, why, I can sleep in my chair. And it took her, I think, seven days to get there. And I literally was in the break room at work laughing out loud, for real, LOL, at work in the break room, reading in the last 50 pages on her train ride to Toronto. And then in her last two chapters, she just completely winds up the book and she gives you the happy ending. She gives you, it just was a feel good ending so much so that I bumped her from a three to a four. So it takes a lot for me to give somebody a five star. I've given some of her books a five star. This book, I'm going to give her four stars. So I really, really enjoyed the end and that's what made this book so great maybe if i would have just concentrated on this book alone and that's what i'm going to try to do from now not read so many books at one time just concentrate on one book maybe i would have enjoyed it a little more you know maybe being at work um the distractions once in a while i just couldn't get into the book as much so um but i am going to give her a four out of five for this book and i would recommend it to anybody who wants to read um an easy read that's not super dark. It's not super dark. Some of my books I read are very dark. This one is not one of them. It's an enjoyable read and it's got a great ending. So thank you, Terry, because it was a great book. Um, so that is my, that is my uh, review for this book. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've read this book. I Almost Forgot About You by Terry McMillan. Let me know if you've read any of Terry McMillan's other books. Um, oh my gosh, she wrote Waiting to Exhale. She wrote How Stella Got Her Groove Back. Um, uh, she's, she's written all kinds of books. And I have always, uh, let's see. Oh no, I was trying to see where her, if she had a list of all her books, but she doesn't in here, darn it. Why would you not do that, Terry? Anyways, because I just really enjoy her books. Yeah, no, no list in this one. Oh, well. All right, you guys. Well, have a great Friday. Enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your weekend. And um, let me know in the comments below if you've read this book or any of Terry McMillan's books. Okay. Have a great evening and a great day because I'm actually recording this on Thursday night, but happy Friday. All right, guys. Take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.